On today's episode of Inside the Laser Lab, me and Walker are giving Santa Claus our Christmas list. Yay! Where's yours? PDF format. I e emailed it to Santa Claus. Yeah. Come on. Hello. Hey everybody, it's Walker and Scott at Full Spectrum Laser and welcome to Inside the Laser Lab. Yes, one of our special Christmas episodes. Yeah, so you said it like it's spooky. <laughs> <laughs> so what's on your list, man? Um, so I say, dear Santa, I want first a Muse laser cutter. Who doesn't, okay. right? I can you do know? That. Uh, Darth Vader TIE Fighter. Okay. Uh, magic Socks. And a bone for my dog, Mr. Puddles. Okay. There we go. But why don't you just get the magic socks and then you can wish all the... Is that what... You have no idea what magic socks do, do you? No. Okay. Let's, let's go, go on with, with the show. All right. That's going to take <laughs> one. another show. <clears throat> all right. So today we're doing... What are we doing? We're doing the Santa mailbox, Santa right? Santa mailbox from last year, but we've upgraded it. Right. right? It looks a lot cleaner now. You want to bring up the uh, boomerang, Charles? Let's bring that up. Wow. Look at that. So yeah. that looks a lot like your uh, your tea house. Is it kind of based off of that design? Yeah, so the, the uh, we have the Thai Pagoda, and I just redid it and made it for uh, the holidays. So you put some candy canes on there. Oh, get the door. Get a shot of that door. That is amazing. Change the uh, North Pole on there. And so this is for, like, uh, if you... Uh, if you an indoor mailbox for Santa Claus letters yeah, exclusively. Yeah, it's, it's for little kids, right? So they write their lists, like Magic Sock list. And then they, uh, you know, put it in there and uh, give it to old St. Nick. He and comes then, by sometime and picks and it and up. And he can pull it out from here, you know, open that, and then reveal That's clever. it on the bottom. <laughs> and uh, this guy, the old version had a little mailbox thing, and you can always still do that with the little flag. But uh, I just wanted to show the versatility of this guy because it could just be you know, a little house in yeah. a village. Could be Santa's Village, the start of a Santa's Village where you make a bunch of little huts and houses oh, yeah. and stuff. I mean, you can make this three-story, do all kinds of stuff. My brother, he has uh, like a porcelain village collection that he's been collecting for 20-something years and stuff. He's got like 25 buildings for this whole New York scene. And he spent a lot of money on that stuff. And every one of those things, you could you could make a replica with a laser. With yeah. a laser. <laughs> I, I, I think that story would be a lot more interesting if he liked making them. Yeah. If rather than collecting porcelain. Uh, if he made them, he could put like uh, his family in the windows of the shops yeah. and customize everything to his you neighborhood could, and you, everything. It could be you in there. Yeah. Imagine making custom Santa villages for your little town or something, or for yeah, custom cool. towns with custom little I kept, touches. I kept thinking, what if you made a little village inside your tree, like all going oh, up the, the tree? Right. And then to the top, you could make it, you know, Santa's workshop or something. I don't know. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. So uh, we'll get into how you made that in just a bit, but I think you've got our, our uh, yeah, Pinterest let's talk uh, our inspirations. inspirations. Yes. So these are just uh, Pinterest things that we enjoy. Um, <coughs> so okay. this one's really nice, a dollhouse. I haven't seen these yet. That is pretty nice. Yeah, and they get really uh, intricate, and I mean, you can do so much, you know, craziness. With you know what this. the scale on that one is? I think it's one and 48. Okay. So you're like your G.I. Joe action figures or something like that. Yeah, right? the, the, the small G.I. Yeah. Joes. Yeah. And then there's a okay. whole village. Here's the village we were talking about. This is this is pretty much what my brother spends all that money for and stuff. And uh, But porcelain. And but it's kind of, it's, it really is. My grandma does the same thing. thing. Yeah. Him and her would get along. <laughs> um, and I saw this one. This was a storybook castle floating in the clouds. Looks like it's coming from the book. I love this idea. It's really cool. Wow. Is that hanging then from the ceiling? Yeah, it's hanging and it's plugged in the wall. Oh, and I can't lights? find too good of a picture, oh, but I, I really like love it. I'd like to see you do something like that. That would be really Me cool. Too. Something like that's like the world's best nightlight for some kid, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's amazing. Um, I was going to see if we have any hello. <laughs> Jeanette, what's hey, up? That. I mean, John's close by too, yeah. probably. So a little mouse hole. That's, that's really cool. Yeah, I really like this guy. Could be a little elf hole. Um, oh, that's such a simple project to, and has such a such a, a cool aesthetic to it. There's a lady who sells these on Etsy for like I think even twelve bucks. But 
I mean, just imagine, like, that's good profit. I'll I tell you what, one thing, though, the mouse is going to be really disappointed when he gets there, though. And there's Try to escape and he opens the door. What if there's a black hole behind it? <laughs> <It's> even better. <laughs> <coughs> I, I that's neat. It's, that's it's simple. I haven't seen that before. That's really, really clever. I yeah, like that. and even if it's not the holidays and you just have one of those randomly <laughs> in your house, people come in and go, yeah. what is that? <laughs> I like that's that. That's for my pet, Ralph Reggie. And then this, these are just nice... Uh, decoration uh, wall ornaments. ornaments or where they go in the tree are they small I guess you could yeah, size them any way you they're want they're fairly small but I haven't seen too many ornaments like this where they're stacked uh -huh. um, I just like that look. it's cool a little paint would really make those things really pop out yeah, yeah. I, I like the plain simpleness but laser cut stuff if you laser cut everything like I do then it all starts looking the same you should have some paint on it yeah. the really nice paint job on your, your little your Thank hut you. too I, I all right, more that. house ornaments, keeping with our, our Christmas Village theme here. Yeah, and again, imagine that those all up in the tree, all you know, all of it right. Could be your house, you know. That'd be spectacular. Yeah, my cardboard box, anything like that. All right, uh, that was inspiring. That was. <clears throat> now let's just go through the steps of this guy. We've actually done this project before on uh, video. If you guys want to check it out, it's right here. It's what a little more than a year ago. So. Last Christmas. Yeah. Um, but we did update it, and let's check out the steps. So we have the base. There you go. We did all we wood, the right? Base. All wood for this one? Yeah, all wood. Uh, for this first one, we did all wood. I just painted and stained it. And then let's go to the next one. Oh, we skipped ahead. We skipped ahead a bit. Um, Boom, it's done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There Step we go. two. <coughs> uh, we put up the front walls and then the side walls, and that's very, very simple. Yeah, um, you just got your, your notches that you Those use notches all the time. slide in, and uh -huh. again, it's just like the Thai Pagoda. If you haven't seen that project, check it out. I like that one. Uh, I actually made that one after the first time I went to Thailand. Nice. I love that one. <coughs> and then just slide in that bottom panel. You don't even really need that bottom panel. What if you want to make this like a little light up house? Then you can leave that off and then put a little light in put there. Put lights in there. Yeah. And then the major interior walls, you just slide those in place. Giving it some stability, too. Stability. You can see a little Christmas tree in there. Yeah. Adorable. <laughs> <coughs> and then start adding the roofs. Now, the roof panels have a notch piece and then a single panel glued on top. And that's just to you know, give it the actual look mm -hmm. of those roofs, uh, the shingles hanging off the edge. And it, all of this just notches together so easy. So how long did it take you to cut all the pieces for it? I think it's like 22 minutes. 22 minutes? Yeah, and not bad. How much wood did it take to? Um, I want to say like two feet by one foot. Yeah, not, not much. Yeah. And it's all designed for quarter inch, or if you don't have quarter inch, you have three millimeter, you can just double the cut, glue everything together. Then the roof panels, just simply notch those in place. You did all your the painting of the pieces separately before yeah, you Yeah, you paint them first. It's a lot easier, unless it's all one color, which then, you know. Did you use any uh, masking tape techniques for this one? On this guy, yeah. I just painted it after I did all the vector marks. Okay. Except for the candy these canes. guys. Oh, okay. The candy canes, I did mask them and then paint them. So what I did was paint them white first, mask it after the paint was dry, then did the mark and the cut, and then peeled the little pieces away I wanted red. It's a bit complicated. Not really. No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Sounds like a yeah. lot more. Um, we got some hellos. Got Monica. Some What's up, Monica? Hi, Monica. Thank you for joining us. And then there you see the little, uh, what are those things called? The little flags for the mailboxes? Mm -hmm, mailbox flag. And that's it? That's it. No, I, okay. And that one, you know, to Santa Claus. That's when people, you know, got mail and stuff like that. Yeah. I've never even used that little PDF to Santa. I don't know. If PDF that to Santa. I Santa, he's got an Air MacBook Pro. <laughs> 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 he, he's, he's up to date. He's got to be. He's got all the technology. Doesn't use the reindeers anymore. <laughs> don't say yeah. that. Don't say <laughs> he that. He actually works through Amazon. <laughs> it's pretty cool. They've got a partnership. Um, so yeah, you can add that, or if you just want it to be a nice little house. 
Right, so yeah. you could do slight variations on this and make a bunch of different houses and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, you can actually change those these roof edges to be anything like icicles hanging off. Mm. Um, I mean, you could even do a little little miniature Santa Claus and put them on top or something yeah, like that. Yeah, you could that. do Santa Claus, you could deck it out, add some reindeer, yeah. uh, you know, flooring, whatever. You got something uh, Christmas related you're doing tomorrow for uh, in the cut too, don't you? Uh, what are we Is doing? It the sleigh, the uh, little secret sleigh. No, that's sleigh? next week. That's next week. Okay, not a secret. <laughs> no, it's not giving away. It's teasing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's in the market. background. I think they can see it. <laughs> Maybe. Back um, right there. No, can't see it. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, if you guys like this project, if you guys customize this project, you can enter it in the weekly contest. Please do. And uh, check out all the Christmas projects from last year. We had tons. We had, I mean, the Christmas, you know, box. Make your own want. boxes, custom boxes. Custom boxes. And Save on wrapping paper. Yeah. And uh, anybody know what uh, inspired this? What, yeah, what what's uh, this movie from? this comes from? I don't know. <laughs> I, I bet it has something to do with Christmas. Yeah, I bet it does. Yeah. And the movie is a lot larger. It's probably a good story, yeah. too. Yeah, I bet it was. It <coughs> was. Monica has a question. Set my laser up and did some test cuts with different material. Looks like a tornado went through <laughs> my garage because I had to go and find my micrometer. LOL. <laughs> and it's going to be entering my first contest just before Christmas. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Can't wait to see it, Monica. Please share it and uh, hopefully you win. That's right. And be sure to check out... Oh, uh, Monica says the Christmas story. She got it. There That's it. Go. That's <laughs> it. The Christmas Story. Classic. You can watch it Classic. played uh, 24 hours a day on Christmas Day on, I think, TBS. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, leading up to Christmas <laughs> on every channel, every hour. Yeah, that one, and uh, It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah. You know, that movie was a flop when it first came out. Both I those movies I were I not I feel like well every received. good holiday movie was a flop. Yeah. Like, Hocus Pocus was a flop, and that's, like, a classic Christmas movie. Never saw it. <laughs> it's, it's Halloween. Oh, um, okay. It makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm like a Jack Skellington. I want to incorporate Halloween through Christmas all the time. <laughs> so. I think that's it. Brings us to it. Yeah. So make uh, everything and check out the projects. Check out our YouTube page. Check out our social media pages. Like Facebook. You Facebook. know, check us out on there while well, you're watching here. If not, you're watching on YouTube. That's where we do In The Cut Live, where we do random things mm -hmm. on all the different kinds of lasers we have. And I think until next time, guys, keep making. Yes. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you like those videos, please subscribe. We got more videos in me over here. <laughs>